Hello everyone, Pam Dubois, Dream Real Estate TV. Today I am super excited and grateful, always grateful, to have with me Devin Peterson and he's with Success Lending. Success Lending. And we're actually going to talk about what's going on currently with the lending market, with the real estate market, all of the above right now. Thank you so much, Devin, for being with us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. So I want to talk a little bit today about uh the lack of inventory that we have. We it's anybody who's been in the business more than 10 minutes understands that there's just not enough properties out there right now. And that's becoming a challenge. So we're seeing in pretty much this is every market that you're at right now, we're noticing that there's a lot of multiple offer situations where uh, you're competing against a lot of different people. Um, traditionally, what a lot of real estate agents would do is they would say, you know what, I realize you want to buy this property for $500,000. Uh, that's the offer price. And you're going to get a pre-approval that says that. Because before all this happened with this uh, lack of inventory, you didn't want to tip your hand and show them that you could afford a million dollar property because they think, well, we're not going to negotiate because we know that they can afford it. Uh, but in this market, it's a little bit different because you have so many offers coming in. You want to appear to be a, as strong as possible with your pre-approval. Just because you might have a million dollar pre-approval doesn't mean you have to overpay for that $500,000 property. A lot of people are starting to think now that if uh, I get that pre-approval for the exact amount that's listed for that offer or purchase price, um, that maybe you can't afford $10,000 more because what we're seeing a lot now is people are you know, in this bidding frenzy, right? So it's going to go to 510, it's going to go 520, maybe 550, right? So you're going to have those challenges where that's going to happen. And then also that's going to kind of play into the fact of where people are now having to do appraisal gap guarantees. Or if the appraisal comes in short, do I know if you can afford it? What's that going to look like? So if you're just right at that $500,000 mark, then you got to go back to your lender and ask for one for 520, 525, and you're kind of wasting everyone's time. Go yeah. in there with your max. You yeah. approve with the $700,000, whatever it is, send it in. 10% down with your 700,000 and they know you're qualified. It shows a little more strength right there from the get-go. I would try to utilize that approach right now uh, when you're making your offers. Yeah. The, other th the other thing I would like to talk about too is... Uh, one of the things that's causing this extreme lack of inventory, um, everybody knows uh, that in the past two years, it's been really kind of rough with the interest rates. They've been uh, going up exponentially. Uh, yeah. Just a few years ago, back in the pandemic, people were getting interest rates in the high twos, low threes. Right. The majority of those homeowners, right, have been enjoying this wonderfully low interest rate. By the way, that was completely artificial. All, that, that's probably not going to happen again. The Fed was buying billions and billions of dollars of uh, securities, uh, I'm sorry, uh, mortgage-backed securities, and that artificially kept those rates lower. Yeah. So that may not happen again. But what that did was that locked in a lot of home buyers that are like, I'm not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So people that were once saying, you know what, I'm going to do a lateral move. So I've got my $500,000 property and you know what? I want to go move, you know, maybe a mile away or so similar house, but it's updated. You know, I want to get a little nicer, little place. That's fine. But in this market, you're probably not going to do that. And the reason being is even if you have an exact house with the same mortgage at the next uh, mile away or so, that's going to cost you 50% more if you're at a 7% interest rate right now. And if you decide, you know what, I want to be a move up buyer, made a few extra bucks this year and things are going well, I'm going to move up just one or $200,000 or so. Your mortgage payment's going to double from that principal and interest payment. That's hard to swallow, right? Just from a slight move up. And then maybe you're thinking the opposite. I'm concerned there might be a recession that's coming up soon. What do I do with that? Let's be smart about this. Let's downsize a little bit and kind of cut our costs. That's not going to work either. You know, so you downsize to this smaller house and you might have a little slightly more uh, smaller mortgage amount. Yeah. But with the interest rates, it's still the same payment. Why would you do that? Right. So we're kind of stuck there. So those people that were once contributing to uh, the inventory by either going lateral up or down, that's not happening. They're kind of stuck. So what we're seeing in the market right now is what I call uh, event based moving. So yeah. it's first time home buyers. That's the biggest thing you're seeing right now. That's the majority of stuff that we're going to see as first time home buyers. People who are tired of renting, throwing right. them away that way, right? People right. who are living in their parents' basements and they're like, you got to get out and spread your wings. Yeah. Uh, you're seeing people who are moving for jobs, relocations and things like that. So those type of events are still happening. People are going to have to buy houses and that makes sense. 
But for the people who are doing those other three things I mentioned, that's going to be a little more restrictive and that's going to exacerbate the supply issue that we have right now. But um, they're building more homes, but it's hard to keep up with that demand. So that's kind of what's going on right now. So that's why I said, again, when you're making your offers now, you're going to get beat up with a lot of people competing against you. Make your offer as strong as possible. Yeah. 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 And I love the point that you actually brought up. I mean, basically it's like, you know, the 2% or whatever, it wasn't real, right? It wasn't real. I remember when we bought our first house, you know, this was back in the eighties. We, we bought it at 12 and a half percent. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Even we, we actually were excited about 7%, you know, that was a great rate. And now it's like, you know, what happened? It was yeah. not real. It was right. not real. And, and and people have to get out of that that mindset now and thinking mm -hmm. that that's going to happen again. Because in reality, it's probably not going to happen again. You know, Not to that level, right? Yeah. Not to that level. And real estate is always a great investment, you guys. Yes. You know, it's a great investment. Uh, you can't lose when you buy real estate. Just got to know when to hold it, when to sell. You know, the timing mm -hmm. is always important with real estate and knowing that but yes i think a lot of sellers like you were saying a lot of sellers are actually staying where they are and they're updating their properties because of the interest rates if they were going to move up or move down or whatever because of the interest rate but being realistic and knowing that you know it's kind of like it's not going to happen again so you're right first time home buyers those are the ones that's out there on the yeah. market right now that's doing it so the that's for sure is it's Even it's funny the shortage of the memory that we have. Well, a lot of the people who are buying now weren't necessarily around in the '80s, so they're not going to remember that. Uh, I myself, I was there, so uh, I, I'm a, I'm dating myself. But um, yes, interest rates were anywhere from 12 to 18, 20 percent back then. And man, you'd be happy as a clam if you can get 10 percent interest rate. You're like, wow, this is amazing. I got such a break. But that was some time ago, you know. So that was you know 40 so years ago. So if you even look at the span of the most recent 50 years and you kind of average it out, that's around 7% or right around there. So we're kind of where you're supposed to be. Yeah. You know? So yeah. it's not a novel thing. Um, I think it was just, um, there's something called the frog in the boiling water. You drop something in there right away. It's real hot. You're like, oh my God, oh my God, the rates are so high. And that kind of happened to us, right? Yeah. When we were at the 3% just a couple of years ago, and then all of a sudden, oh my gosh, we're at seven and a half. What's going on? That kind of put everybody into a shock. Yeah. Now that we've been kind of swimming in that warmer water now, and we're kind of used to it, we're like, all right, maybe this is the new normal. This is kind of where we're at and where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Now, to forecast a little on that, I think now that things have kind of tamed down a little bit, I think interest rates will probably in the next, you got to give me a little leeway here. No, no loan officer yeah. worth their salt is going to have a crystal ball and anticipate this, but with the next six to 18 months, interest rates are going to come back down and maybe, maybe they come into, you know, the mid fives, maybe low fives, even, you know, that's that much possible. And that's kind of what I call the national, uh, natural aspiration of how things work that way. Yeah. The stuff before, like you said, with the twos and threes, that was so artificial with the, the Fed buying all that stuff. And that's probably not going to happen again, uh, at least not in the next 20 or 30 years, I'm guessing. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at right now. Yeah. yeah. Any special programs that you have currently for first time home buyers? That's a good question. A lot of people ask about that. So there are a lot of different programs when it comes to down payment assistance, depending on the state that you're in and things like that. There's something that can be very specific, even locally to the city, perhaps of where you're at. And you're going to want to check with your local lender on that specifically. I don't know all of them. I'm licensed in 11 states, so I don't know what's everything that's out there. But I can tell you that uh, find somebody that you're working with, ask them what they have available in their certain given market, and they can then expand on that. But there are some grant programs that are available. Some are forgivable. Uh, if they're not, they... Well, they call the kick the can down the road where you pay it back at a later date, you know, yes. at 0% interest, which is great because the home's going to appreciate anyway. So you're going to, you're going to make up that money no matter what, but sometimes it's helped, uh, you know, nice to get some help uh, first getting into the entrance of the home buying experience. Yes. Yes, absolutely. In real estate, like we said, you know, it's always a great investment, you guys, you know, yeah. people, you're going to need a place to live and why not make money while you're living there. Right. Exactly. You know, exactly. Offs and all the, benefits of home ownership but yes share your contact information with us how right. people can reach out to you and then if you can please really quickly let us know what state you're licensed in okay i have to pause for a second and think of that so i'm in the midwest directly i'm physically located here in uh, illinois so i have illinois iowa wisconsin michigan indiana uh, minnesota 
uh, the Montana, California, Texas, Florida, and North Carolina. So okay. all the Midwest and all the states where they're leaving us, <laughs> where they're going right. to. And then I'm, you can easily reach me at Devon, D-E-V-O-N at successlending.com. Oh, That's okay. yeah. thank you so much for being with us, you guys. Um, we will see you in our next video. Meanwhile, stay safe, be blessed, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.